What It Takes Radio Company, a blast from the past from the Christian Entrepreneur Network. Do you know the seven big M words? Yes, right. The seven big M words that will help you know how to do business and even to do life better today. Greetings. This is Stan Houston for uh, the Christian Entrepreneur Network, TCEN Global, and What It Takes Radio. And I'm presenting the What It Takes Video Teach About and the iPod radio broadcast that we call The Master Entrepreneur. And we're here to help you become one of those master entrepreneurs in 2020. And we want you to be able to see clearly about some of the things you might have to do to uh, not only survive, but we would want you to even thrive and flourish in the changing and disrupting business years that are before us right now and will be here for some time. I'd like to call this six, maybe seven M's that you need to know. Six, maybe seven M's that you need to know. Now, for many years, I lived in the state of Minnesota, and one of the uh, premier companies that has been located in Minnesota for many years, you've probably heard about. It's called the 3M Company. And uh, do you know what the three M's stood for? Well, <laughs> it was Minnesota, because it really was located there, Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. And they were going to create products that uh, used the mining that was done in Minnesota, and they were going to manufacture products primarily for Minnesota, but of course it spread uh, throughout the nation and then throughout the wide world. I'd like to talk about some of the M words that are going to be vital for you and me as we go ahead. Now, the first one is uh, one you've heard about, but I'm going to give it a lot more intensity. Uh, it is your message. You're going to have to have a powerful message, and you might want to call that a mission, but I want to pull back and give it a lot more intensity. Your company is going to have to have a message, not about what you do, because most mission statements are kind of bland and boring statements about what you do, but your message is, what is your cause? Uh, you're in business because there's a cause. Uh, there's a problem. There's a situation. There's something that needs to be addressed. There's something that needs to be fixed. There's something that needs to be repaired, rescued, made better. There is something that could be great and possibly life-changing and world-changing if you can bring it forward. And so it's more than a mission, it's a message with a cause. Your business, your organization, your personal life, your church, your ministry, what is your message? All right. Number two M. Okay. Who are the uh, members of your uh, mission? The people. Who are they? Uh, what makes them unique and different? Because please keep in mind, it is the members of the mission that make the difference. That's right. Who are they? What makes them unique and different and powerful? Why should I buy from your company? Not just because of the products and services you have, but about the people. And uh, what do you and your company believe? That's right. What, what are the beliefs? I just challenged a major company to say, tell me, what are the seven things you believe about life, business, uh, well-being, and the products and services that you have for the people you hope to serve? What are your beliefs? So there you'll go, message. Now we have who are the members. And then, what you got? 
I remember once when I was uh, just beginning my business and someone had given me a wonderful recommendation, so I called up the man and uh, uh, he was polite because he knew the person who had recommended me, and so I began to kind of drone on with uh, what we are all about, and then he simply paused and said, Stan, I'm really busy and I want to listen to you, but I just want to know now what you got. What you got? What are you offering me? And so what's the merchandise? What's the stuff, the service? Uh, what are you going to offer me? What are the uh, merchandise benefits you have? Those are three M's. What is the message? You better have a good one. What is who are the members? Who are the people behind this that we can trust? They're going to be good. They're going to make good stuff. They believe the right stuff. It's made by good people for good people. And what's the merchant? What is it? What you got? Now, as a business performance coach, I'll tell you right now, most companies that are good have those three down pretty well. A lot of companies don't, and if you don't have them down well, you better get there. That three M's you better get. Now, here are the three M's that most companies miss, and that's where we can help you and want to help you. Next, it is not only those three M's, but what is your marketing strategy? What is your marketing life? Now, marketing is totally misunderstood. Many people just say it's advertising, it's selling. No, marketing is where you match in everything you say and do to what the customer and the client and the person you've decided that you can and will serve. So you create marketing, a way of connecting, taking those good things you have, your message, your merchandise, and your members, and you put it out into the marketplace. Most companies don't do that well. We can help you because there's a whole new view of marketing. Everything you may have learned about marketing is wrong. It's about how you live, and it's about how you perform, and how you care, and how you create an experience that brings people to a state of trust in who you are and what you do and what you can do for them. Everything you've learned about marketing is probably wrong. Next, media. How do you get those uh, good stuff that is part of your marketing out there? And most people today have no sense of how to use the media, how to use radio, television, broadcasting, video, all of the modern media that will then connect to the modern machine called the smartphone, which is where most people will get their information going forward. Hardly any business knows how to use the modern media. And that is not just Facebook. That is not just Instagram. That is not just Twitter. Those don't even count in the modern media that you need to know something about. In fact, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram are generally bad marketing and there's a good reason for that, and we'll be glad to show you how we can make it better for you. The podcast, the video performance, the branded podcast, those are the kinds of things, the highly emotional, engaging, visual, performing programs and performances that will come from the modern media. So there you go your marketing, and your media. And then your mentoring. How do you educate and teach and demonstrate to the people you want to do business with? How do you mentor them so that they better understand how they can make their life better and how you can help them do that? 
And how do you do that with the young men and women who are involved in the future of your company? Companies say, we do a lot of training. Training is basically worthless unless you are also mentoring. Would you like to know how to mentor your new recruits, your new employees, your new associates, and not just train them? There you go. Six M's. Let's go through them again. What's your message? What's your cause? What's your mission? Number two, okay, who are the members? Tell me about the people. Number three, what's your merchandise? What you got? Number four, can you describe how you're going to connect with them? How you're going to engage them? What is your marketing methods and ways of doing just that. And do you know how to use the media to do that, the modern media to do that? Not just brochures or flyers or what we call dead trees. How can you use the modern digital electronic media to do that? And then how do you mentor people, both the people you hope to serve and the people who are going to do the serving? And because they are all over the world, you're going to have to learn how to be teachers and mentors and coaches, as well as sellers to the people you seek to help and serve. And of course, for them to then reward you with buying your product or service and making your work profitable and fruitful for them and for all. Number seven, move. Mobility. You're going to have to learn to move fast. I one time had a person who was not quite happy with me in an organization I was with. And uh, when someone said, why? She said, well, he just walks too fast. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. In today's world, you've got to move fast. You've got to be mobile. You've got to move fast and you've got to be in a variety of places and you've got to have the kind of media so that you can move fast and be in a variety of places so that I can be in India right now and I can also be in Russia right now and I can be with you right now. Mobility. Success belongs to the ones who can move. And in this world, they can move fast. Seven M's. I hope this has been helpful to you. And let me tell you this, as the Christian Entrepreneur Network, and we teach you the diamond, what we call the diamond deal, how to think, how to sell, how to build a business, how to be brave, bold, and strong, and humble, you need a spirit force. This is where we are profoundly different. We teach that you can do business without a spirit force, but if you want to do it well, you better be in touch with the spirit force that can make good things happen and make many things possible, things you never thought could ever be. We believe that, we stand upon it, we teach it, and we don't back down from it. And so uh, we encourage you to think about that too. We'd like to help you just as we may have helped you right now to build a business that makes a difference and uh, that may uh, not only make a difference, but it will uh, matter and it will even make money. No margin, no mission. I'm Stan Houston. Please reach out to me at radioedge77 at gmail.com, radioedge77 at gmail.com. We're back with a lot of good stuff to help you build a business, for you to find the way to make it, to move, and to move fast, and do it right and do it well in 2020 and the years beyond. Please be in touch with us. We can help you. We can help you. And we'd appreciate uh, your contributions, your sponsorship, www.tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, but we want to be profitable for all of us and profitable for you. 
Best and blessings. Until next time, bye for now.